Welcome to week 1000, episode 58 million and seven. Today I am oddly excited to be working on the insulation and getting the insulation into all of these cavities around the garden room. Um, and I'm gonna be using, not just the insulation, I'm gonna be using this gapo tape. So the reason I'm using this, the main reason, is that when you're just cutting this insulation board with a saw or however you're cutting it, you, you get a gap. And that gap is because of the timber's got variations in it. The gap between the top and the bottom might be slightly different. And also just the cut. I've, have you got that cut exactly square or not? Is it exactly the right size? This board is not, has no forgiveness. That's where gapo tape comes in. So gapo tape reckon that that normal cut you do and that fit can give you up to an 80% performance gap, hence the name. This, using this product, reduces that gap and that performance, the physical gap and the performance gap to zero. So it's a foam, silver foil backed foam that's obviously has got given it. That gets attached around the edge. This, each wing is self-adhesive, so you pull the backing off, fit it here, cut it to length of scissors, fix that around the edge. That gives the board some actual give. So instead of just being a rigid solid surface, it's got some give in it. So that give takes up that gap from the timber, takes up the gap from your cut not being quite straight. And also, as things kind of move a little bit over time, if you spray foam around there, that still goes rigid, but this stays flexible and keeps that gap filled up. So that's what I'm doing today. Hopefully, to, by the end of today, I should be, hopefully, mostly done. And the reason I hopefully will be mostly done is the sort of second reason I'm using this. So I've built this garden room, obviously, and I've made sure you know, the gaps are pretty much the same all the way around. So what this means, using this product that's got this tolerance in, I should be able to cut pretty much all the pieces in one go, then gapo tape them, and then just push fit them in. Because this can take up any minor differences between the space between each stud. So that's today's job. So hopefully it goes well. I will put you on time lapse and show you this product in action. And I'll do a little, uh, another little demo of me actually attaching this to one of the boards. There is another video which I will put up and in the link description below that shows when I did this in the floor, same way, and sort of shows in detail attaching this foam to the edge of the boards once cut and fitting that and what kind of fit you get. Right, let's do it. Now I've got all my pieces cut, a lot of them the same size, a couple had to cut a little bit different, um, but they're all ready now. So the next stage is to actually wrap these in gapo tape. So I'll do one on camera. So first, oh, watch those. First I will do the ends. So just work out the length, peel back, make sure there's no dust on there, peel off the tape. Just peel it back. The ends, you can kind of stretch out, firm down. Take off the other tape. Now 
Now, don't push, try not to stretch the foam too much. If you stretch it, you'll squash it. So you don't want to squash it, you just want to have it on there. But not so much that you squash the foam. So hopefully, this is all in camera. Now the long edges. So, again, roll it out, get your length. Now, what I could have done is actually cut all these in one go, which I might do because they're all the same length. But just for the video, I'll show you one. So I could cut every every length, at least the heights, all the same, because they're all the same height. So take some of it off, get it in the middle. Start covering down the sides. Pull the backing off, just pull it out a little bit. Not too much. It's quite a quite good adhesive. So it's actually fixes quite well onto the face of the PIR. Right, so this one's ready to go in now. Just before I put it in, this one, for example, I've cut that as straight as I can. You know, that, that's, not, that's actually pretty good if I got that in there, if I managed to get that in that tight and the same on this side. But even so, I can see down there, there is a gap in places. Like it's touching nicely here. There's actually a two or three mil gap down the bottom. That's your performance gap. So this one, with this on, should, with a, with this product around the edge, this gaffo tape, should just slot in. Like that. Now, as I'm pushing this in, I can, you know, feel it as I'm doing it, that that gap around the edge is now completely taken up. There's no gap. That's pretty good, isn't it? I think it's pretty good anyway. So that's it. That's one in. Just got to do about 58,000 more, and we'll be done. But, I mean, if you're going for a passive house build where you want, you know, no air gas, that's got to be the one, isn't it? Right, I'll do the rest now, and hopefully, tomorrow, I will be finished. See you then. Hmm, it's pretty good. Okay, start of day two. So yesterday, 
I got most of the boards wrapped, everything cut for the back wall. The only ones I haven't wrapped yet, are the ones where I've got sockets and supports, and the one where I've hidden my to-do list. So I need to work out how to do that. I'll probably, what I'll probably do is cut this one so it fits in above here, and cut a small piece that goes in the back there, middle section in between the two, and the same at the bottom. So once I've worked out that, I'll put those in. I also need to work out where I've got sockets, like this one, how I do the wire, because this finishes flush with the edge. So I'll probably have to cut a channel in here so I can have the wiring going through and cut out the top so the wiring can go through and come out the ceiling. But I'll cover that in the wiring videos. Now I need to work out how to do the rake wall. Um, so I'll probably cut the angle first, then cut the heights. I think that's probably the best to do, but that'll be on the next video, so watch out for that. So for now, that's the end of this video. Gaffo tape working well. Once they're all wrapped, cut and wrapped, then I'll do a final video where I just satisfyingly push them all in. Right, look out for that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next video.